Let us try an example to determine the amount of reinforcement bar required within a flank section. A T-section beam shown here is required to resist a design ultimate moment of 180 kN. The strength of the steel bar is 500 N per mn square and the strength of concrete is 25 newton per mn square. You are asked to calculate the amount of reinforcement bar required within the section. The sections have a flank equals to 400 mm. The thickness of the flank is 100 mm. The depth of the beam is 350 and the width of the web is 200. You are asked to determine the AS required in the section. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. With the information given here, we still do not know whether the spread spot is actually falling within the height of the flank or is actually go beyond the height of the flank into the web. To do so, you may either check the S or check the moment load against the HF or against the moment capacity of the flank. Let's say now we choose to use the moment as the checking criteria. We need to first determine the moment due to the flank. It is in the functions of compressive strength of the flank multiply the lever arm to the centroid of the tension steel bar. The compressive strength of the flank is calculated by multiplying the design strength of the concrete, multiplied the height of the flank, multiplied the width of the flank. As for the lever arm, it is determined by minusing the D with half of the height of the flank. The moment capacity of the flank here is determined to be 170 kN compared with the moment load acting on the section. The moment resistance is less than the load acting on the sections. With that, it is concluded that the spread spot must extend beyond the flank and some portions of the web is taken to resist the moment as well. With that, we need to determine the depth of the SW. SW is referring to the depth of the web which is undergo compressions. When the stress spot falls beyond the flank, this stress spot will be applied. Now, the moment of the section here is determined by FCTF multiply Z1, FCW multiply Z2. FCF multiply Z1 is actually the same as the one that we discussed previously. As for FCW, is actually determined by 0.567 multiply SW multiply the width of the web. As for lever arm Z2, it can be determined by minus D with the HF and also half of the height of the SW. Taking the moment here as a moment load 1 at T, the entire equation here only have one unknown. Reorganize the equations, you obtain this. And solve these equations, you obtain the SW equals to 15 mm. This means that the S here is 1 and 15 mm from the top of the beam. 
and 100mm is for the flank and 15mm is for the web. With the SW of 10, our next step is to determine the AS in the section. Use the principles of equilibrium. Your FST will be same as the FCF and FCW. The relevant equations are given here. Now, AS is the only unknown within the equation. Solve these equations, you will obtain your AS is equal to 1402 mn square. With that, for the flank sections to receive a load of 180 kN meter, the amount of reinforcement bar required here needs to be at least greater than 1402 mn square.